Hi everyone, this is Francine from Million Cart. All ten you invited me to make this tutorial as a guest designer for their video challenge, and I hope you will play along. In this video, I am going to show you how to create this card using the alt new striped floral stamp set. I started out by stamping the flowers and leaves in black ink onto white cardstock. I use black ink from alt new, but all kinds of black ink work for this technique. I then cut out the stamped images, leaving a thin white border. But if you have the coordinating dies, you can also die cut them. Once it was done, I arranged the flowers and the leaves into a tight grouping. It's important to leave space between the flowers, but not too much. To secure and keep the cuts together, I used a piece of press and seal wrap. But if you don't have that, you can also use masking paper or post-it tape. It works well too. When I was happy with my arrangement, I put the press and seal wrap over the cuts, the sticky part of the wrap side down, and I rubbed with my fingers over the flowers and the leaves to make them stick to the wrap. And what's fun with the press and seal is that it's transparent and you can see what you are doing and where you want to cut. Next, I run the press and seal with the flowers through my die cutting machine with a circle die. And here is the fun part of this technique. It created a circle from the flower and leaf grouping. I went ahead and I applied foam pads to the back of each flower and leaf. The foam pads add dimension and this makes the technique interesting. Of course you could fix the cuts with glue to the paper, but the effect wouldn't be the same, so foam pads are really important here. As you can see, for the first card I made, I used craft paper, but I think it would look amazing with other colors too. For example, on a white or black background, or even on dark purple cardstock, it's up to you. So I chose the black cardstock to show you a different result. I removed the protective film from the foam pads. Then I placed the circle in the center of a top folded card base and I pressed down to stick the cuts to the card. Finally, I removed the press and seal wrap. To finish off my card, I added a sentiment. I thought that the label love stamp set from Old New was perfect for this card. I stamped the hello in black ink onto white cardstock and cut it out. I fixed the label with foam pads over the cuts, but it didn't look great. It didn't pop enough because of the black card base. So here is a trick if you have the same problem. You can add a layer between the label and the card. Vellum is perfect for that because it's transparent and neutral, but it really makes the sentiment stand out. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was part of the old new video challenge. You will find all details to play along on my blog or on the Altenew blog, but there are also links in my YouTube description. Thanks to Altenew for having me as a guest. Mm -hmm.